Okay, so this is what um, this is what we're going to do here. Um, let me see if I can minimize this here. There we go. Um, using QuickTime Player as a uh, screen recording device. So uh, let me show you what uh, where my page is here. Let me just open it up. We're going to create a a page with this video that looks like this. Yes, it looks pretty bad. It's just all the HTML code in between the body tags. Uh, you have a bad picture of me. You have a, an H1 tag at the top that says, Mr. Guthrie, it's going to be your name and then whatever your period is in my web design class. And then it's either going to say my web design one website or my web design two website or my game design site. Um, either one, it's going to be used uh, by all my classes. You're going to create individually your own portfolio website, and it's going to hold all of your assignments in it. So that's what we're doing. But again, in this class, we do all of the HTML first, and then we put in the CSS to color and stylize and lay out um, our page uh, so it's all nice and pretty. Uh, we have a, uh, a subheading tag of my class projects, and then we have an unordered list right here with uh, list items that all say link one. We're going to do one of those and just copy and paste. Um, so we don't have to you know, type out the code. We just copy and paste. We get one working and then copy and paste the rest. I have an image of me. It's going to be a view. It's uh, maybe, I forget what the width is, but we can double click it in preview and go tools, uh, image size, and change the image size, image size to, uh, I think, 300 pixels wide. And then we have two paragraphs. I have Latin text that I grab from uh, Lipsum.com. You're going to actually have text about you. So this is going to be introductory text. It's almost like you're standing up in class and saying, the first day of class, saying, Hi, my name is so-and-so. Uh, here's a little bit about me. And you're going to talk about your maybe where you're from, how many people are in your family, what you like to do outside of school, what are your favorite classes, anything you would like to say, you can say on there, so people get to know you a little bit better. And notice we have a thin line in between the paragraphs called, called a horizontal rule line, HR. Okay, so we're gonna do this, we're gonna do all the HTML first. Uh, some of it I'm gonna do, uh, most of it I'm just gonna show you because we've done this in class already. So I'm gonna kinda quicken the pace. So, I've opened up my, uh, my uh, document in Text Wrangler. I have all the basic tags, and the basic tags are basically all of these up front here, HTML, the head tag, the title tag, both open and closed, the style tag right here, style type uh, equals text CSS in quotation marks. That tells the computer gonna, we're going to write CSS. I've closed off the style tag. I've closed off the head tag. And the big one is the body tag. We're going to work with the in between the body tag today. Okay, and as I said, if you looked at the page, the first thing we're going to do is do an H1 tag just, just below where the body starts. Again, body stands for all, the whole page. Anything visual on the page is going to be in between the body tag, an HTML tag. So do an H1 tag, put your name, put your period, whatever you're, you're in. And then right below it, we have a smaller subheading. I just chose an H3. I could choose an H2. It really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I can totally uh, stylize it in, in CSS differently. So I use an H3 tag for that. And that's going to say my web design one or my web design two or my game design portfolio or website or whatever you want to call it. Let's go ahead and call it portfolio. Much better. Okay, I save that. Now I have another subheading that says My Class Projects. And again, in HTML, uh, you want to put things in sequential order. And it's basically from top to bottom, how it's going to show up on the page, and then left to right. Okay? So uh, right under the H4 tag, I have an unordered list. And remember, with an unordered list, you have to tell the computer, UL, I want to make an unordered list. And then you're going to create one list item with the A tag nested inside of it. So here's the, here's the list item here. 
here's that a tag a space ref h r e f equals and remember the trick in web design if we don't have any place to go yet we put a number sign in between the quotation marks and it makes the words link one clickable but it doesn't go anywhere so I've used that trick again oh I don't know what happened there but um, okay I think I have one more link <laughs> anyways go ahead and do one of those lines and then once you do you just have to copy that, go Command C on the keyboard, and then hit the return key, put the cursor uh, to the end of that line, hit the return key, and just paste. Oop. I paste, I had to copy something else copied, so let me do it again. Command C, put my cursor to the end, Command V. And you want to do those maybe five or six times. And we're actually going to use this and place all of our assignments for this class um, in this unordered list. And we'll have separate web pages for each assignment. So you're basically making a big website for all of the assignments in your class. There you go. Okay, so go ahead and do that. Remember that once you open up the UL, you're gonna make one of these, again, copy and paste. When you're all done, you're gonna close off that unordered list. You're telling the computer you're done with that unordered list. Okay? The next thing we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to delete this for a second here. Let me go down here and delete it. I'll talk about that a little bit later. The next thing we're going to do is right below the unordered list, we're going to do an image tag and we're going to place an image of you. I have a you know, weird picture of me. And I have it in the same location as the website. So if I click here, this is if I click the little Safari icon right here in Text Wrangler, it's going to show me where this web document is that I'm working on. And what you want to do is it's going to show me right there. And there is Mr. G.jpg, the same image that I want to place on the page. Let me close, close this here. Okay. So notice, the again, this image right here is in the same physical location as my web page that I want it on, okay? Can't stress that enough. I know you hear me talk about it all the time. Now, what I've done is, if you remember in the, uh, the wrapped images, we took images and we floated them left and right, and we gave them class names so we could float each one separately from all the others. If I didn't give it a class name and I had four or five pictures, however I designed it, it would design for all of those pictures. And sometimes you want that. But other times you want to individually design each image or place it separately. Maybe floating it left, maybe floating it right. And I can do that by giving each image a class name. So I gave this image a class name of IMG1. The reason I didn't use the number one is the fact that computers don't like numbers for names. Sometimes they have difficulty uh, distinguishing between a, a number or a name. So um, anyways, I've added that inside the tag. Okay, so you want to do that. The next thing you want to do is, now again, I've grabbed uh, Latin text. Let me see if I can make this a little bit bigger. I've grabbed, grabbed the Latin text, and notice I have a paragraph of text in between P tags. So I start getting it. I tell the computer, hey, computer, I want to make a paragraph. So I do the P tag. I type out the paragraph. You guys are going to type it out on yourselves, whatever you want to say, kind of introducing yourselves to the public. And then when you're done with that paragraph, you're going to close that paragraph tag with a slash in front of it. And then... Notice, remember that I, uh, if you looked at the page, I have a thin line that we haven't designed yet, a uh, horizontal rule line that gives a little bit of separation between each paragraph. And we're going to, that's the tag HR for horizontal rule. Okay? And then we're going to start another paragraph about you. And again, so you're going to open a P tag, type the paragraph out, and then close the P tag. And the last thing you want to do is, again, with the, the, uh, all the basic tags, you want to close the body sometime. 
and then close HTML. And that tells, tells the computer, you're basically, when you're closing the HTML, you're done typing out a web page. All right? So go ahead and do that, okay? And just uh, the toughest part is going to be typing out what you want to say. Uh, a paragraph to me is between six or eight sentences, full sentences. Um, even more is, is better. So let's say six to ten per paragraph. And just, you know, just act like you're meeting somebody for the first time and they're asking you about yourself and what would you say? How would you describe yourself and what your likes are, um, what your interests are, anything like that. Okay? And the next video, what we'll do is we'll start to design this thing. Thanks.